graph the linear equation. Let's go ahead and work through it. So solution. To do this, we'll first start by drawing the y-axis and then the x-axis. And I'll go ahead and label them. So this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis. So the easiest way to do this, I think, is to find the intercepts. So let's start by finding the x-intercept. So to find the x-intercept, you set the other one equal to zero. So you set y equal to zero in the equation. That leaves us with 3x minus 4 times 0 equals 12. So this is 3x minus, and then 4 times 0 is just 0, and that's equal to 12. So 3x is equal to 12. Because x is being multiplied by 3, we'll divide both sides by 3. And so we end up with x equals 4. So now we have an ordered pair. Our x is 4 and our y is 0. So that would be our x-intercept, so 4 comma 0. So you can just come over to the graph, and from the origin you go right 4 and up 0, and then you put a dot. Okay, good stuff. We're almost done. Now let's go ahead and find the y-intercept. So y-intercept. So to find the y-intercept, you set the other one equal to 0. So you set x equal to 0 in the equation. So this is 3 times 0 minus 4y equals 12. 3 times 0 is 0, so we have 0 minus 4y equals 12. So minus 4y equals 12. Because the y is being multiplied by negative 4, we just divide by negative 4. That gives us y equals negative 3. So we have two numbers, x equals 0 and y equals negative 3. The x always comes first, so it would be 0 comma negative 3. This would be the y-intercept. So from the origin, we go right 0, or we don't go any direction left and right because it's 0. And then we go down 3 and we put a dot. The last thing to do is connect the dots and make a beautiful straight line. So there is our line. I hope this video has been helpful in some way. Good luck.